What's up guys, this is Rick from Capital Computing and I'm going to show you how to torrent safely today. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open up your internet browser. We're going to look for BitTorrent. This is the software that we're going to use to download files from the server and from your peers. So we're going to download BitTorrent for whatever platform you have. You don't want the pro version, you're fine with the free one. We're going to download it, open it up and install it. So this is the ad section right here. Usually they're going to try to download stuff on your computer since BitTorrent is just, it's, uh, it's just a free version of it. So all you have to do is uncheck the boxes right here and hit I do not accept. Then you won't download any of the malware, or spamware, or adware that they try to send you. We're going to finish up this installation and BitTorrent to start right up. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to optimize our torrent settings. So we're going to go to options and preferences. We're going to move to the connections tab. We're going to make sure this box is checkmarked. Enable UPnP port mapping. This should be checked by default, but if in case it's not, then you're going to want to make sure that's checked. Next, we're going to move over to bandwidth. And then we're going to set our maximum upload rate. And the way we do this is we're going to figure out what our actual upload rate is, and then we're going to multiply that by 0.8. We're going to try to upload by at 80% of our maximum capacity, because if you try to download at, say, 100%, then that's going to clog your connection, and it's actually going to make downloading a lot slower. So in order to figure this out, we need to test our internet speed. We're going to go head over to speedtest.net. And you need Java for this to work, so like, you should have Java installed in your browser. If not, uh, I'll, pay, I'll put a link in the description for it. So we're going to hit begin test. It's going to find a server to ping. And then let's let it run the test. And we're going to be looking for this result right here. This is the number that we're looking for. This is our download speed right here. This is how fat, how quickly we're going to be downloading torrent files from other people. All right, so this number seems to be around 700-ish, so that's good enough. We're going to pull out our calculator, and we're going to multiply 700 times 0.8. This gives us 560, and that's our maximum upload rate. We're going to put it in this box right here, 580, or 560, excuse me. Then we're going to move over to number of connections here. 200 is a good number. We're going to change the maximum number of connected peers to 100. That way, instead of connecting to 50 people and downloading the same file, we're going to connect to 100, which should give us a larger variety to uh, choose from when downloading. So after that we're going to go head over to BitTorrent right here. We're going to go to protocol encryption. Outgoing protocol encryption should be enabled. What this does is uh, allows your traffic to be encrypted when you're downloading torrents. So say your ISPs, let's say AT&T, Comcast, Time Warner, or Verizon, they're all known to throttle uh, torrenting connections. So by encrypting your traffic they can't tell what you're doing on the internet. So that way you, um, they won't be able to throttle your connection. In other words, slow it down. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hide your IP address. So say that um, you download an illegal file from, torrent, from uh, the internet, then um, you can, the party that's trying to find you and press charges against you for downloading illegal files they're going to want to look for something called an IP address. This is the address associated with the torrent that has been downloaded. So the way to do this is you're going to download a VPN called Soft Ether VPN Connector. It's in my previous video. If you don't have it installed, you can just look at that. But right now I'm just going to run Soft Ether.
And we already have our adapter ready to go, so I'm going to add a relay server. I'm going to click on the first one here. We're going to use TCP protocol. And now we're getting a new IP address. So what this does is now all your traffic goes through this IP address right there, the 10.0. whatever one. And when uh, the uh, party that's trying to press charges against you is going to look for a torrent or a IP address, I should say, they're looking for that. They're going to find that address right there. And that address is usually a relay server, which means that there are probably thousands of people going through that connection. And on top of that, the server doesn't maintain any information on the IP addresses. So your IP address, aka you, are completely masked from those people trying to find you. So now we're going to head over to a torrent website. We're going to try to download torrent. For legal purposes, I'm going to download a legal torrent, aka like open source or freeware. So the torrent I'm going to download, or the website I'm going to use, is Kickass Torrents. It has an extensive uh, library of torrents, and there's lots of cedars, as you can see. Uh, you want to look for lots of cedars. That means there's lots of people downloading the same torrent, and um, it'll be a faster connection. You'll see what I mean later when I explain peer-to-peer -peer connection. So the torrent I'm going to download is called uh, Ubuntu. It's a free software available for anyone on the internet. And I'm going to download 32-bit uh, ISO. So this, uh, this goes for any torrent on this site. You're going to come to this page right here where it has all the uh, descriptions and the actual files, a description of the files. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the torrent file. Note that this does not actually download the software that you're trying to. Like if I hit download torrent, it's not going to download all one gigabyte of this file. What it's going to do is that it's going to download a metadata of this, which is basically like a skeleton framework. And so it tells it what to look for, but you still need to download the actual files themselves. So now that we have our torrent file, we're going to left click it. And it's going to bring it up in uh, BitTorrent right here. You don't have to mess with any of these settings, just hit OK. And then now it's going to begin to download the file. And when it's done downloading, it'll be in your downloads folder. So the way that torrenting works is you download uh, metadata, which we had right here. And what that does is it has a list of trackers, which are these right here. If you hit this tab, you'll see these trackers. These are like pools of, oh, uh, this is a website that hosts pools of information containing um, all your peers right here. These are other people who have the same torrent as you. And um, what they're doing is they're uploading the data to you as well as downloading it sometime. So let's see, like this person right here, uh, is downloading and uploading the file to you. So basically you have uh, about a million parts of this torrent. You have 1.1 gigabytes of files. So how torrenting works is you have a lot of little pieces right here of the file. And all these little pieces your peers right here have. And you're going to download not in one consecutive order like this, but you're going to download them all piece by piece. So that way it's a lot more faster and efficient. So for example, if you have, uh, say, if uh, four people have parts one, two, and three, four of the torrent, then if you download them simultaneously, like we are right now, then it's going to be four times faster than, say, downloading one the entire thing from one person. Because instead of just one connection, you now have four. So that's why torrenting is a lot faster. And like I said before, your IP address is masked, so you should have no trouble at all whatsoever with uh, DMCA requests from uh, companies. And you're pretty much safe. There's no way you can get caught doing this if you just use a VPN. The only thing with a VPN is that it's very slow. 
since you are connected to a server in I think Japan uh, we connected to it's basically on the other side of the world so you have to have data streaming from uh, say the United States to the server on the other side of the world and then back to you for example if we look right here this guy right here he's sending data to the other side of the world and he's sending it right back to you for all we know he could be living on the uh, just across the street from us but well, that's the downside of uh, that's a price you pay for uh, for being completely anonymous though but I think it's worth it all right guys if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and just uh, just know this is purely for educational purposes I do not condone whatever you do on these websites and I do not encourage downloading illegal files it's just a tutorial on how to do how to protect yourself while torrenting all right guys thank you have a great day